Valley News Live 10 at 10 continues with no wait weather. What a day after several days of clouds and some much needed rain in Fargo to mm -hmm. help us get caught up with moisture totals for the season. Uh, the sunshine felt nice. It was really nice yep. to see more days to come. Maybe? Yes, there is more sunshine to come in the forecast. And if you miss the sunset tonight, well, our tower cam time lapse captured everything. Take a look at this from the Valley Sky Cam as we set things into motion. And late this day, the sun very large dipped down at the western sky and provided us with some awesome colors in the western skies. Temperatures slipping into the 60s and are now sitting in the... Well, let's take a look. We have temperatures out at Hector right now that are generally on the uh, order of the upper 50s, mid 50s rather, 56 degrees as I waited for that graphic to come up forever. South southwest wind under five miles per hour. It's a quiet evening. Still 61, however, in Moorhead at this hour. Some temperatures are falling into the low 50s up to the north and west for Langdon, 55 in Valley City. And off to the east, we have Detroit Lakes at 59 with Bemidji, uh, your temperature 53 degrees, but dead a little cooler at 50. A few high clouds spilling overhead, and this could limit some viewing of the potential of northern lights tonight. There's some reports down in southern Wisconsin that they've been seeing them already. So if you happen to get out and away from the city lights, look to the north, there is a chance of some aurora activity. Otherwise, we do have some clouds approaching from the north and west. Other uh, that uh, in the southern United States, some scattered showers out there and a big storm system spinning its wheels rather slowly uh, out in the uh, Alaskan area. And as that system works its way on shore, it will deliver us a chance for some changes in our weather later in the forecast period. But for tonight, as we head to bed, the cool front moves through. There'll be a chance of some increased clouds as we go through the overnight and one or two of these may produce a sprinkle. And because we have some clearing skies down in the south, we may have a chance at a few areas of patchy frost. That's a small chance of that. Now, as we start our day, most of us will have temperatures in the 40s. Look at our wind direction. Once the front moves through, we'll have more of a northerly component to it throughout the early part of the day as clouds shift their way south along the front. But this thing stalls out and really slows down throughout the day. So the coldest of the air will remain well to the north as we go through the afternoon. It will cool us off a few degrees from our low 70 degree high day to today in the FM area. Things are looking to be back closer to mid 60s, which is average 46 to start your morning. Wind from the northwest, a few clouds through the midday hours. And then as we go into the afternoon, we'll see temperatures peaking in the upper 60s, decreasing clouds late, setting the stage for some Friday sunshine in the forecast as well. 62 Langdon for your afternoon forecast. That's where the cooler pool of air will be. Notice our northern counties in northern Minnesota seeing temperatures near 60. But as we go south, there'll be a better shot at an isolated 70 degree reading once again for your late week afternoon. Hi, Eric Strand uploading some colorful skies here. These darker though, autumn thunder in the forecast there for Brooks, Minnesota on this particular day. Here is a look at our forecast as we close out the work week with quiet weather, both Thursday, as we mentioned, and Friday, 64 degrees. That's about seasonable for this time of year. Uh, for tailgaters heading to the Bison game, it looks fabulous. Temperatures peaking in the afternoon near 70 degrees and just a very small chance at an isolated late day storm. Sunday, a transition day. That system in the Pacific Northwest will punch its way into the northern plains with a lot of wind and decreasing temperatures still near seasonable averages, though a better chance of rain on Sunday into Monday. Yeah, I agree. Much nicer temps. I like that. Yeah, too. thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm.